This is the untold true story of the most famous prince the world has ever known. You know him. Always coming to the rescue of some damsel in distress. Well, I know him better. Hey, all he ever wanted was to make every girl feel like a princess. Can you blame him? When Sleeping Beauty took a hundred year nap, he was there with a wake up call. When Cinderella needed a partner toe to toe on the dance floor, he was a shoe in. When Snow White bit that poisoned apple, his kiss was the cure. But you can't have too much of a good thing. And that's exactly what got him into this mess. Mess? I'm just a bit too charming. That's all. How we doing? You have my good side? <laughs> Trick question. They're both my good side. Well, at least that's what they tell me. Come on. This is for your wedding portrait. Give me a smile like a man in love. Love? Oh, I wish I even knew what that meant. Well, then, how did you meet your princess? Ah, yes. Uh, it was a moment I will never forget. Ooh, which princess did you mean exactly? Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, Snow White, all three princesses, welcome to Fraselli's. I need a wedding cake. Oh. We make the finest wedding cakes in the Four Kingdoms. I hope so. Nobody's gonna snooze at my ball. Except maybe me. I'm marrying a prince. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he's a prince of a guy or whatever, but my beloved, he's an actual prince. Sing it to some birds who care. Can we get on with this? My wedding is really soon. How soon? Oh, careful. You frown too much and he'll get wicked witch eyes. And your mirror will tell you. He'll tell you right to your face. <laughs> ladies, ladies, in 40 years I have learned that no two cakes and no two grooms are alike. So each of you, tell me something about the man who has enchanted you so.
Papa, what a morning. Oh, son. Aren't you tired of being hated by every man in the land? Curse that cursed curse! The prince stole my love! Yeah, but I have been trying to run away from the ladies, though. Um, mm -hmm. Just like you asked, Papa. You don't know how troubling this curse is. I am attempting to run a kingdom here. Of course I do. Felipe, you are the future king. And yet you still have not chosen a bride. Your blasted curse must be broken, and we've only three days before your 21st birthday. I'm engaged to Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella, and Snow White. Then just pick one. That's not love. I don't know the meaning of the word. Seriously, what is it? The day has come for you to run the gauntlet. The gauntlet? The rite of passage. All the way to Fire Mountain. It will give you the answers you seek, as it did for me and my father before me. The gauntlet is a journey that makes you a man. It led me to the Latin beauty that became my true love. May your mother rest in peace. Unfortunately, that's also when I broke the heart of my trusted guide. You mean Nemini never wish? She was so jealous of our love. Nemini became our enemy, consumed in dark fairy magic. She vowed revenge, not just on me, but on love itself. I'll never forget the day it all happened. The day of your royal blessing. Presenting the royal blessing fairy. Excellency, it is my honor to bestow the royal blessing upon the young prince as I bless you and your father before you. For you, my tiny lord. From this day forth, you shall always be charming. Oh, 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 never wish? You seem so surprised, Philip. I did promise I'd be back. What have you done? Oh, how they will throw themselves at your boy now. He'll be a little heartbreaker, just like his daddy. In fact, no maiden who gazes into the eyes of the prince will be able to resist his smile. She will believe that the prince is her true love. One by one, he will steal the heart of every maiden in the land. Heartbreak will reign. And when the sun sets on his 21st birthday, this charming curse will be sealed. And on that day, all love will disappear forever. No, I will find a way to break your curse. It could be broken on the last day. With a kiss of true love. Guards! Your Highness! <laughs> Seize her! Oh. Seize what? Hey, bless you. Now don't freak out. He's got 21 years to find true love's kiss. But how? It can't be that hard. He's a prince. And he's covered in charm. Oh, with every lady in the land throwing themselves at him, will he ever know the difference between the curse and real love? We've been over this so many times, Papa. I still have a few days to consider my options. We're out of options. I can't do this for you. You've got to do it for yourself, Felipe. For myself? How? How can I tell Papa that I'm scared? How can I go out there and find something I don't even understand? True love? Every girl I've ever met was hypnotized. That's not love. It's meaningless. 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 There's a big echo in my head. I had no idea there was this much room in here. Uh, what is he doing with my chair? All you need is a little push. For the sake of the kingdom. And do not return until you choose a wife. Things you do for love. All right, let's go gauntlet in. It's gonna be... Guntastic.
You, clear the road. The rest of you stay alert. This could take a while. this 20% <laughs> fine 40% oh just get Charlie would you Determine which of my princesses is my real true love, or all love will die and darkness will consume the land forevermore. Piece of cake. No, no, I actually want a piece of cake. Apologies, my lord. Mm. Ah, my Arabian princess, your genie has appeared. My gunner awaits, and it's not for you. Gladys, got your note. But I want you to see, uh, um, over here, see other people in any direction. Ooh, I really can't dance right now, but your moves, so consistent. Charlie! Hey, look at you, I'm really in a time crunch, so maybe you never... Oh, didn't we just meet on last week? Yeah, that guy's funny, huh? Oh, you don't need a princess, you need a good cook. You need to Coming through, huh? out of the oh. way. I know she's around here somewhere. Wow. Huh. Dressed for adventure. Those eyes. I need to say something. Say something! Flavor be flabby. What was that? Try again. Face like a mermaid. No. Voice of a meerkat. My brain is a bottle. Butter on pancakes. What is happening? I can't put a sentence together. And why do my knees feel like paella? Where is that super charming? Why isn't it working? Say something that makes sense. Very nice, milady. This is nice. <laughs> and so are we. <laughs> um, I think you might have hit your head. I'm probably stressed. Nemini never wish a dark fairy at war with love itself threatens our land. But if I run the gauntlet and figure out which of my three fiancés to marry, I'll take a vow and save us all. Did you say you're engaged to three women? Look, it's not like I planned it, okay? 
I've got a charm that just won't let go. Um... It's such a curse. <laughs> well, you should try letting go more often. Thanks for the dance, fella. Wait! That was the weirdest feeling. Uh-oh. One steps on this side of Frazelli's counter unless he... Have you seen this woman? I don't think so. Sorry. Uh... <laughs> sorry. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Hello? Is anyone here? Oh, I... I didn't hear you girls come in. We all need our wedding cakes. We're just adding the final touches. Uh, so, Blondie, tell me, how'd you and your, um, true love first meet? Well, I don't have much time, but my father married a complete psycho. She had him killed and then turned me into the maid. Ooh, I did floors. Well, uh, conveniently, I had a fairy godmother. Even though she had never shown her face once in the years and years I lived in the fireplace of my own home, uh, what did she do? Make a call to child services? She did show up the night of a big ball at the castle. And she gave me some really nice clothes, a fancy ride, and some gorgeous, though incredibly uncomfortable, shoes. Ooh, I like shoes. Now I have to worry about the arbitrary midnight deadline of my fairy godmother's magic? Oh, thank goodness my future husband managed to find me, because I am apparently the only girl in my entire kingdom with a size six and a half foot. Wow, that is one seriously messed up story. So, you with skin as white as snow, you're up. How do you meet your prince? You're a stranger, so don't touch me. My evil stepmother tried to kill me. Ugh, evil stepmothers are the worst. And then seven tiny little bearded men who work underground left me in a glass coffin in the middle of the woods. Okay, that's kind of weird. Anyways, that's when my sweet, charming prince found me. And kissed me and brought me back to life. I'm sorry, his kiss brought you back to life? Yeah, good old mouth to mouth. You know, you're all kind of freaking me out. <laughs> and yet, with morbid curiosity, I can only wonder what your lips will spout. On my 16th birthday, I pricked my finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel, even though I was like totally warned that if I ever touched a spindle, I'd fall asleep forever. Oh my, that's a very specific curse. Right? Anyway. The fairies who raised me in a hut in the forest totally put my entire kingdom to sleep. Why exactly? I don't know. Anyway, we all slept for a hundred years. That's where my very own amazing prince found me passed out on the floor. And he did what anyone else would do. He called for a doctor. He pretended he didn't see you and walked away so he didn't have to deal? No. He kissed me. And five seconds later, we were engaged. Oh. And soon I'll be crowned. Huh? Uh-huh. Must be three lucky men. Who's got a picture? My trophy boy. Are you guys hoping to marry the same prince? <gasps> well, ladies, what can I say besides thanks for sharing, best of luck, and you know what, maybe try therapy. Sleeping Beauty robbed! King Beauty to prosecute. Cinderella robbed! Fairy Godmother flummoxed! Snow White robbed! Cranky founding dwarf of the High Hole Mining Company to press charges. Scandal! All three ripped off royals engaged to the same prince. How? Why? Hear ye, hear ye! Charming to run the legendary gauntlet. Forecast for survival? Cloudy. Merlin's mattress warehouse is having a sale. Prices insane. Yup, that's her, the Baker Burglar. I'm gonna lie down. Being robbed by strangers, it's safer in the woods. <clears throat> so we've trapped you, the thief who's stolen the treasure from my guards. My apologies, but... 
You make it easy. She's still my first. Yes, dears, I'm working on it. And I thought I had problems. The charming curse. <laughs> well, it's one tough enchantment, isn't it? Dark magic from Neverwish. It's hard to break that spell, but I do my best. <laughs> Oh. oh, don't worry, it'll turn back next time the clock strikes 12. <laughs> Ticking clock magic is hardly magic at all, is what it is. That prince is running the gauntlet. Oh, I know. Poor dear. I've seen some guys twice his size and never survived that one. At least you have a picture to remember him. Well, if he's killed, nobody marries, do they? Wait a minute. Could there be a way that we could come to a little arrangement? Instead of jail? I guess I could be convinced. Thief, you will protect this prince. Me? Fine. You turn me loose, I get your prince through the gauntlet alive. But I don't come cheap. It'll cost a fortune in gold. Perhaps three golden fortunes would suffice. Now we have a deal. Three horse carts full, no promissory notes, payments and cash only. So, I just get him to fire a mountain? That's where we make him pick a bride! <laughs> <gasps> I'll get him to Fire Mountain in three days. You take the main road ahead of us while I guide the prince through a safer route. Think of it as Gauntlet. And I'm on wanted posters all over town, so I'll be in disguise. Three days. Agreed. Where'd she go? Hey, she stole my mustache. <laughs> Heard you were running the gauntlet. You'll need a trusted guide to make it through. Lucky for you, I know my way around every part of the gauntlet. You know, like a gauntlet guide. Well, I was thinking of hiring one of these ruffians to guide me through it. This one was a little too aggressive. Real pain in the... <clears throat> she certainly was immune to all of my charms. Tell me, could you imagine traveling with someone like this? Nope. Never, ever, ever, ever. You're lucky. Life on the open road can make you a little bit crazy. You said you were a guide? More like the guide. Already headed that way. Prince Felipe Charming. And I'm Lin... Um... <clears throat> I'm Lenny. Yep. <laughs> Lenny's my name. <laughs> we leave at once. So, Lenny, what's for supper? Excuse me? Supper. The meal comes after lunch, before bed. <laughs> what are we having? Why don't you tell me? <laughs> oh, 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 awkward. Uh, I, I assumed you picked up on it already. Um, I am a prince. You know, so, uh... Oh, you're right. This is awkward, because I assumed that you picked up on it already. I don't care. Then you suggest I, what, uh, fan for myself? Only if you're hungry, your majesty. You're mocking me. Well, you could man up a little. Ah, of course. You are jealous. <laughs> of you? I am a prince on a noble quest. You are a thief, incapable of loving anything but your trinkets. <laughs> So, how does one end up engaged to three princesses? It is a little bit troubling. When you're born a prince, you marry a princess. Whoa. I have to find one who truly loves me to break this curse. So, I just keep proposing to them one after another. You see, you don't steal their heart, you earn it. So, enlighten me, Senor Suave. When you save them, why do you have to marry them? Are you not listening? Wait for it. Prince 
So then, no true love? That will come when I discover who I am to be with. So, who's in the lead? Could be the girl with the glass shoes. Cinderella, the night we met, she felt the clock ticking. But now, she takes her time. How long is this going to take? Uh, a while? Tick-tock, buddy. It's always midnight somewhere. Okay. I'm no Da Vinci or anything. Mm -hmm. Did you know he just invented a new kind of... Is he of... inventing a faster way to paint a portrait? Huh? Quick drying paint? <laughs> I've got a fitting in an hour. So you're willing to risk your life for her? I must. True love for my people is in jeopardy. The gunly consists of three impossible tasks. Hmm. One, cross an impassable pass. <whistles> Two, survive an unsurvivable attack. Ooh, <laughs> and the punching and the kick game. And three, <laughs> conquer an unconquerable beast. Ooh. Now that's a shadow puppet. Sounds exhausting. That's what I said. Still, can't be worse than collecting and hoarding treasure. Hey, perhaps that's my true love. <laughs> Not possible. Treasure can never love you back. It can never complete you. Why not? Obtaining it does meet all of your requirements. Not all, for there is a fourth and final requirement. Both lovers must take a blind leap of faith for each other. <coughs> and since gold coins and rare baubles can never do that, at the end of the day, if it's just you and your treasure, you are alone. 20 years I've waited, and now it's but two more sunsets and the curse is sealed. Then, and only then, will you see the true devastation of my curse. <laughs> so, Lenny, what about you? Is there a special someone in your life? <laughs> no. You and I are cut from different cloths. You could never understand. Try me. Hmm. Well, I grew up on the open sea, and it taught me one consistent lesson. Trust no one. No one? No one. Keeps you alive and keeps you fed, but it doesn't earn you a lot of friends. Friends? I've heard of those, but my father never appointed any to me. You, uh, talk in your sleep. You know that? I do? What do I say? You know, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure you were being chased by an angry gang. It's true. <laughs> a mob chases me through my dreams at night. I think the dream started when Mama died. I know they will end when I find my true love. And another night, I just dream about pancakes. <laughs> Aw, how mysterious. Oh. Charlie, what is it, girl? This isn't right. What is going on here? What was that? Lenny! Hang on! Whoa! This isn't got light at all! That almost killed me! I mean, did you see that? I know! The whole valley's alive! Okay, have you ever used a bow before? Of course. Great! There! No, I said I had used one, which I have, once. Ugh. Take the reins. Um, yeah, I don't really do the driving, so. <coughs> okay, I'll drive. Whoa. Charming died. The end. 
Or maybe not. Um, amazing! Do you know what that was? I mean, do you know what that was? Yeah, that was a treasure chest dropping into a forest full of killer mines. It was an impassable pass. Oh, what a thrill! Aha! Take that! Even more thrilling than if your men did it for you? I understand what you're implying, and you're right. I have always been carried across life's impassable passes on the shoulders of others. But today, we face it together, like brothers in arms. And it was awesome! Look at me running that gauntlet, pursuing my one true love. It's destiny. I feel so alive! And you, you are amazing! What do you want, a kiss? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Kidding! I'm so male, it's like ridiculous, bro. Like, what a dude I am. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Bro. Bro. You need to teach me how to use this thing. And the bow, and the cart. Oh, oh. Well, maybe not the cart, um, but everything else. Why do you even carry a sword? Because it looks fantastic. Take that, scoundrel! Scoundrel? Really? Okay. Okay, I can't take this anymore. Look, you'll never vanquish an enemy like that. Not even an imaginary one. Here, let me show you. Your sword is not an accessory. So like that smile of yours? Be more careful where you point it. Like this. Uh, how does that feel? Nice. Very nice. Attack! Whoa. Oh, look. Prince Charming's actually attempting to find his way through the gauntlet and break his curves. <laughs> How adorable. But what's this? A female traveling companion. And she's somehow immune to his charm? Oh, no. This will not be tolerated! <laughs> Weird. I could have sworn. Oh well. I guess we'll go this way. So, how well do you even know these princesses? Like, uh, little Miss Sleepyhead. Ah, the girl who slept, who is at last awake. What I love about Sleeping Beauty is her energy. After a hundred year nap, she's rejuvenated, vivacious, ready for life. Oh boy. Hello, dear? <gasps> did, it, did it happen again? Just hold that pose. What about posing on a chaise lounge? <gasps> maybe you bet. I don't think that's a good idea. Or maybe I'm holding a sheep. Two sheep, three sheep. Ugh, again? <sighs> Cars, I could be wrong. You know what might help us? This gadget my inventors showed me called a compass. Wherever you go, the needle points to north. At sea, all we really needed were the stars to get us wherever we were going. Life at sea sounds like a thrilling adventure. Well, it's not. A lot of it is hard work, and you're always watching your back. Not all of us are as charmed as you. Whoa, I can't help it if I'm too charming. What? Please. Look, the adoration of these princesses won't last forever. I'll break the curse. How? The missing piece of the puzzle is out there. That's barely even a plan. Why are you such a pessimist? Why are you such an optimist? We're totally lost. Yes, but with every new step, there is hope. <laughs> but not that step. Uh-oh. What is it? <laughs> it's the Matilaha. Matilla what? A forest tribe of savage giants. No one has ever survived an encounter with them. Hold on. If no one has ever survived an encounter with them, how does anyone know they exist? Because, well, you know, I've never actually thought about that. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, we're dead. <laughs> Lenny, my friend, do not fret. Mm. I yeah. got this. Mm. Well, hello there, you delicate little flowers. Sometimes it's a curse. And a blessing. So, what time's the party? What can we bring? Let's get this party started! If you love to eat people, let me hear you scream! All right, this one's for the ladies. Let me hear those stomachs roar! They're very light on their feet. <laughs> hey, that's quite a hairpin. The indestructible dagger of the Matillaha, forged in the Fire Mountain centuries ago for the husband of the chief. <laughs> Let the anointing begin! Anointing? Ha! <laughs> Of course. Under normal circumstances, you'd be rubbed from head to toe with the sacred oil of our ancestors. But since we cannot decide who should be allowed to anoint you, we'll all take a turn. That's a lot of anointing. Uh, what happened to my friend? The ugly one with the bad mustache. He will not be anointed. However, as a special wedding gift to you, he will also not be eaten. Until breakfast! Oh, that's very generous. Where is he? With the half-oracle. The half-oracle? She is only blind in one eye, and therefore only right half the time. You are here on a mission of love. Love? Well, yes, technically. Charming's not mine. You seek one who has departed this world. What? No. You have sentenced your heart to eternity in your soul's dungeon and tossed the key. You enjoy knitting. No, I don't. Ah. You are on the verge of a betrayal so monumental that love itself hangs in the balance. Betrayal is such a harsh word, don't you think? When you return home, you will join a convent. Um, no. But long dormant embers of your own hope threaten to ignite within you, for you, for you have allowed, allowed yourself, yourself to be touched by another. And therefore, and therefore you, must you must now, now question all previous assumptions of self. Okay, maybe. Maybe on some level that I can't access, I'm hoping that I can maybe learn to love someone? By sharing true love's kiss. I trust no one, therefore I can never experience true love's kiss. I don't sound like that. But you are right. True love cannot save you. Hmm, unless... You let it in. Ugh, isn't true love overrated? Yes, yes. I see it now. You turned him down And baby you fall A little piece of you It's a piece left intact, a part to wonder, but it's overdue. So you could just fail, you could lower your tail, and just lay down to die. But a sliver of hope. And a dream to a love So sees my good eye And I I see your infinite And I I see your definite You push that shape-shifting smell And as you sleep in sports Like you got so I'm 
Just lay down to die. Wait! I have one more question. Is it possible that... Well, that... Charming could maybe possibly be my true love? Yes. You're certain? No. Ugh. Half Oracle. <laughs> Ooh, hot potato. <laughs> Ladies, please, please. <laughs> that tinkles. I'm the Cabasso! Please let me go. Please let me go. I never meant to hurt you all. I can break the curse. If I could just... Hmm. What? Where am I? What happened? Lily, where's Lenny? The rescue plan is up to us. The dagger. Good idea. friend who ah. uh. uh. <laughs> you look awfully shiny oh thanks 150 anointings will do that to a man come on we gotta get out of here the chief and I are getting married and well we're eating you for breakfast well, that does explain why I've been marinating all night. Mm, tangy. It's quite nice, actually. Right? Teriyaki? <laughs> hmm? <gasps> oh! Hey! Oh, uh, you know you have the loveliest eye. <laughs> See ya! Quick! They're escaping! And they're either going to get away, or they're not! My true love! Stop him! He has the indestructible dagger! And no breakfast! On the bright side, surviving an unsurvivable attack is on our to-do list. Hey! The gauntlet! You do believe! <laughs> Lenny, dude, very heavy. That's the horse. Found a torch. That's my ankle. <laughs> okay, we gotta get some light in here. Uh, not what I meant. No one can have him but me. You are mine. Mine. All mine. There's no other way out. You hate me forever. Uh. And ever. And ever. And ever. It doesn't end like this. Why? Because your father handed down some insane theory about what it takes to find love in this cruel world? No, because I cannot die here. Not today. I wasted my time talking, not doing. Yeah, well, I wanted to see the pyramids. But I guess I'm not going to. I've done nothing for anyone in this world but myself. I want to put an end to my curse. I want a happily ever after. For everyone. Yeah. I want that, too. There's something I need to tell you. The thing is... Well... I'm not really... There! Thank you. For what? Coming back for me. We're, all, we're almost there. I still haven't chosen a bride. Right. The princesses. What about Snowy What's-Her-Name? 
Oh, and Snow White had a bad childhood. Yeah, an evil queen tricked her into eating a poison apple. But you know, she never stopped trusting people. Can you turn around? Yeah, I don't want to turn my back to the window. And I really shouldn't talk to strangers. I'm the painter. Or you could be a witch. No, no, I'm, I'm the painter. Did you hear that? Shh, little feet. Um, let's try some props. Will you accept this apple? Ah! No apples! No, wait! Oh, yeah, she's a keeper. Yeah. Well, let's keep moving. Buddy. So, you bested the man-eaters. An impressive and unexpected turn of events. But I wager you'll not fare so well when faced with your own worst temptations. Mine. Ooh! And I'll take this one. And I'll take this one, too. Ooh! And I'll take this one. Hmm. Ooh. And I'll take this one. Ooh! And I'll take this one, too. Wow. Ooh! That is definitely mine. You sure this is a good idea? We cannot allow false temptations to distract us now. It's just a colorful rock, Lenny. Let's go. Whoa! I take it back. That's not a rock. Not a rock. Not a rock. Mine. what I call an unconquerable beast. Let's do this. Attack! Ow. Are you okay? Uh, are you kidding? This is exactly what I needed. Listen, no matter what happens, you cannot help me. Wait! You're not gonna try and fight that thing alone! To complete the gauntlet, I must! No, no, I'm sorry. I can't just stand here and watch you get pummeled to death. Lenny, your oath. <sighs> you will have my word. Striking deliberately, with respect! And do not use the word scoundrel. Well, that played out differently in my mind. Hola. So, not a female unconquerable beast then. Hey, you! Down here! Fight me! Oh, come on! I'm trying to run the gun in here! Got you now. You are mine, beast. No. Embarrassing. He wants it back. Incoming! I think you are looking for this.
gonna die. And for love. Lenny! Lenny! I mean, he really believes it. Could the answer I gave up finding so long ago truly be as simple as a blind leap? Lenny! And a little faith that I'll be caught? I know I said no matter what, but... Maybe there's more to him than just a prince looking for a princess. For the love of anything you love, help me! Charming! Me too. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Oh, bump in. Yeah. <laughs> he did it. He conquered the unconquerable beast with a missing piece. I is he my missing piece? No, <laughs> that's stupid. But what if? <sighs> I need to know for sure. If I deliver him to those princesses at Fire Mountain tomorrow, I'll never know if he could fall for a girl like me. She's a bigger threat than I imagined. But a heart locked away for so long can be fragile. It doesn't take much to break it. <laughs> Got you a souvenir. He just squeezes this out. Did you see? Hey, where's Lenny? What is this? Made me at a dainty dish at eight. The curse that shared is half Thought I'd break my back But a curse that shared is half Now I know that's a fact But every time I'm slipping down there You say something so Pardon me, the dainty dish? to enter you must answer my questions three okay how many people in your party uh 
to. Do you have a reservation? Uh, I think so. And how will you be paying? Hmm. Don't princess eat free? Ah! Oh. I'll pay cash. To the tenta dish. You're the first in your party to arrive. <laughs> May I show you to your table? Uh, please. <laughs> oh, curse is curse. Just blend in. Hey, what's you Be cool. Avoid eye contact. And choose one of the princesses quickly. Wonderful, wonderful. Enchanté. Ah, here we go, monsieur. And uh, our special tonight is paella. Hmm. Paella. Hmm. My knees feel like paella once. Ah, I wonder whatever happened to that bandit woman. Hmm. Best to total the kebabs. Ladies, Prince Charming could use some company. Well, here goes. That is my tale. Now that I've conquered the unconquerable, this prince must choose his princess. Now, which one of the three? I get married tomorrow. I'm such an idiot. What was I thinking? Who always want a princess, not some commoner? No. This is how it goes from here, Illy. We deliver them to the mountain, we collect our payment, we move on to the next job. Trust nothing, especially your heart. Hurts, doesn't it? Fire Mountain, we're here. Hey, what happened to you last night? You uh, never showed up. I changed my mind. Are you okay? I'm fine. Oh, good. I wish you had come. That restaurant you picked was, well, it was challenging for me. I was telling stories of our journey, and then I remembered the words of this girl I met before I even started the gauntlet. Really? And what could that be? To let go. Let go of my old ways, of my doubts, of my immaturity. Today, I must put that aside and trust my feelings. Like a compass pointing north. Careful you don't let go of something valuable. Oh, is this because I finished all the pancakes? No. In the coffee? No. In the trail mix? No! Oh, thank goodness. Because in just three days, you have become the only true friend I have ever had. Friend? True love, choosing who to marry. You know, you throw these terms around like you have any idea what they mean. Well, I hate to break it to you, friend. You don't. And you, you who refuse to trust anyone, you understand? No, I don't, but I never claim to. If you have to pick a princess today, so be it. But I have news for you, Prince Charming. If you really love someone, you would only have eyes for her. If you really love someone, you would dissolve all other engagements before ever seeking her hand. And if you really love someone, you would know how cruel it is to allow her or anyone else to believe that she might love you. I have to make a choice, Lenny. My time's run out. Don't let yours run out. Don't wait too long to see the pyramids. Well, well, it's about time. At least he made it in one piece. Uh, Lenny, what is he talking about? Your fortunes. I trust these satisfy the terms of our deal. Wait, what deal was that? To get you here, all the way unharmed through the gauntlet. No one thought you'd make it. Not even me. I thought you were my friend. Tell me one true <laughs> thing about you. Fine.
It was her all along. This is weird. Love is blind. Get a hold of yourself. Guards! That was my face. And this feeling, it's so weird. Don't you get it? We pass through an unpassable pass together. Ow! We survive the unsurvivable attack together. It doesn't bend that way. And then I single-handedly saved her from an unconquerable beast. And then you took the leap of blind faith for each other. No. That's not true. I leapt for you, Felipe. I actually let myself believe in you and all your true love nonsense. That's why I invited you to the dainty dish. To tell you. To tell me what? That I... You know what? Why don't you just ask one of your fiancés? No! My only true love is this treasure. Lenore... I can't lose you. Now for the matter at hand. Ladies, ladies, ice front, hello, Prince Charming, it is time to choose your one true love and liberate all others from your spell. Do you choose Sleeping Beauty, Snow White, or Cinderella? I choose none of you. Excuse me? I'm sorry. I never knew what love really felt like. But now I do. As wonderful as you all may be, I have found my true love. But well, she has chosen treasure over me. To feel this way, and then have it taken from you, that truly is a curse. I cannot do this to my people. Wipe out all love itself. So if I can't break the curse, then the curse must die. With me. My sweet, sweet Valerie, I write you now on my final hour to liberate you so that you may seek the love that you deserve. I found my true love. Now be free and go forth and find yours, Felipe. Darling Vanessa, I write you now in these, my final hours. Unacceptable. You are a crown prince. I have to do this, Papa. What difference does it make where they make me wait? This just isn't right. And on your birthday of all days. But that's exactly why I have to do this today. I must die before the sun sets. It is the only way to liberate our people from my curse. And what are these? I need them all to know that they never really loved me. I felt it, Papa. I felt love. And just like that, I lasted forever. She must know that thanks to her, I felt it before I died. I will see that they are delivered. <sighs> What a fine man you have become. You would have made a great king. Been so far away from home. But the line's too tight to break. Yeah, the line's too tight to break. Now I know where I belong. But the line's too tight to break. And I'm still hoping, hanging on Here I go Wish me luck My sweet, sweet Valerie Valerie? I finally see that true, true love is really just a leap of blind faith. I have found my true love. 
Me. It is me, right? You realize what this means? He's leaping. Save him? From what? Well, come on! I say something real quick? Uh, hello, quietly, ladies and gentlemen. Quiet! The prince would like to speak. Oh, thank you. You are surprisingly pleasant for a man who kills people for a living. Oh, it's just a job. My heart's not in it, really. You know, I just happen to have a talent for the work. Good people. Standing here before you on death stage. My heart broken, my soul tortured. I need you all to know that I finally understand the pain and suffering that have caused so many. I will sacrifice myself so that you all may reunite with your true loves. <laughs> Lovely speech, always a tough crowd at these things, death and all, you know. Oh, uh... We're up to this part already. Afraid so, yes. So, if we could just pop our little head into the noose here. There's a good lad, yes. We've got a football match in the courtyard in half an hour, you see. So, um, we'll, uh, we'll go on three. Are you ready? Uh, no, uh, not really. Sorry, sorry. I don't know why I always ask that. Uh, right. And a one, a two, two and a quarter, two and a half... Uh, what are you doing? Oh, well, you see, uh, traditionally, if someone wanted to save you in an impressive act of heroism, this would be the moment. Oh, uh, well, I guess not. Three! <coughs> hey, you changed your heart? Your blind leap of faith. You were right about me. And I was wrong about you. Let's just say a little bird told me. You're my one true love. Is that true love's kiss on your lips? Oh, no, you don't. Good luck finding each other before the sun sets. <coughs> Charming! What is this? What's going on? It's Namini Neverwish. She wants to keep us apart. Well... Too bad for her. Sorry, friend. <laughs> Shall we dance? <laughs> Where is she? I'm right here, darling. <sighs> no. Over here. Whoa. Stop playing Such around, you silly girl. I'm right here. Lenore Quinones! What a royal pain you turned out to be. Tell me, what part of Doom to Never Love do you not understand? That is your curse, not mine. <laughs> Sorry, dearie. You can't break something that's already broken. No, I'm sorry. Because I'm done letting anyone else tell me who I can and cannot choose. We'll see about that. No!
true love's kiss. Our true love's kiss. <laughs> you did it, Felipe. You broke the curse for everyone. But you also saved a girl born at sea. You were magical. <laughs> what... What is happening to me? What is this feeling? It's magical, isn't it? Some kiss. So that's what that feels like. No fairy godmother acquired. Hold on. Look at them. Good people! Is there anything you want me to say to them? Like what? Like... Will you marry me, Prince Felipe Charming? You're giving it all away? That's your life's fortune. No. No, it's not. You get some charm, and you get some charm. <laughs> Party gifts. A dollop of charm for everyone. Woo! Just a dollop now. All the fairy tales call this a happy ending. But I like to think of it as a happy beginning. Because our life together is just getting started. So, that's our story. I may have a new life, but I'll always live it my way. Look, if you told me a year ago this is where I'd be, I would have said you were crazy and stolen your wallet. <laughs> now she just steals the covers. And my hairbrush. Oh, and by the way, the last pancake. Not cool. Not cool. Hey, I'm eating for two. <laughs> the half oracle was right. I do enjoy knitting. Oh, well, at least halfway. to find and I know that we can't be denied and I say got me falling in so deep nothing can ever stop our destiny like a thief in the night I stole your heart I knew it's we can't be apart something about you keeps me drawn to you stars align our hopes combine shining Shine!
can't be denied
He's also got a sensitive side. He has the soul of a poet if you give it the time. And he's a perfect gentleman, class and etiquette. Oh, who am I kidding? He just got such excellent abs. You can't compete with those fellas. I make the whole kingdom jealous. I just forget my manners. Hello, I'm Cinderella, and I need a wedding. I like him for a smile. Trophy 